we will try to uh, you know last time what we did is like you know um we 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 created warehouse stars and manually we created warehouse stars and uh, even for the final store has been you know we have selected manually only we have selected and um, so system is not proposing any um, bins for us to put our product because that's where you know we didn't put any strategies for us like you know system is not giving any strategies because we didn't set any put away strategies so now we will discuss about uh, what are the put away strategies and um, how you can utilize the put away strategies and so that you know uh, the efficient way we can move the product um, to designated place you can say uh, based on our warehouse we have several uh, um, racks racking system we have a wide aisle pick phase wide aisle pick reserve and we have a mess nine location as well we have a ground one ground two ground three and also even i can say even uh, a uh, bulk storage location where bulk storage location means like you know you want to keep very larger amount of um, handling units so uh, so you, it may not fit even uh, a regular bins for that so don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so so that way you even um, is a floor floor area you can say that where is a floor area is a defined as a bulk storage location other than other than the bins what about it other than the bin so so how we can utilize the put away strategies okay just i will go through some uh, put away strategies we have and okay so the the most uh, popular uh, put away strategy is a manual entry put away strategy means nothing that's what we did am right yesterday we have uh, selected a bin just manually we have we have selected the a bin because uh, Uh, we are not set any strategies so this is a general like, in case uh, if you not uh, set up any put away control indicators uh, put away strategies for your product so you can always go for manual uh, put away strategy and uh, to identify any empty bin you don't know that what see he is putting in a some uh, he is thinking a dilemma he doesn't know that where he is supposed to go there unless he takes this handling in it this is a pallet you know the wooden one unless he takes this one and he sees that physically okay this is a empty one that is the way is a is a manual entry put away strategy okay no strategy just he will go there and see that okay this is empty then he can always do that but in a real time you know even uh, what we do is uh, what we suggest for the warehouse people uh, for example this one they should check stock stock overview first uh, for this bin you need to check stock stock overview okay i'll put stock overview whether though is the physical stock is not available here but we need to uh, check because sometime what happen is somebody might have moved there but still system shows this uh, this location is, is a filled okay is already is not empty okay uh, we, before um, he is putting even if some come came if he is trying to put here and the system throw error saying that is already another product is there okay but so one uh, check we do the real time you know assuming that is a uh, if he comes and he will put away but in case real time you know, if something uh, system shows but physically the component is not there or handling is not there uh, system throws the error if uh, everything is all right then he will put into any any empty storage location and um, we have another concept called fixed uh, fixed bin put away strategy where we can use fixed bin put away strategies remember fixed bin put away strategies we used for the uh, mostly replenishment okay mostly we use for replenishment so fixed bin means like you know you you have a some product for example you have a aa product for example you may be x product this products should go to the only designated area only designated bin you can't say area So for example this aa product should go to fix 11a bin only okay so this product is only it should go here it cannot go put in here it won't allow the system because um, we have to set up for this uh, for this product there is a fixed bin approach using replenishment there is a bin mat is there we need to set that so that system will understand that this aa handling unit it goes to the respect um, bin only okay um, but fixed bin approach majority we use replenishment 
and also if, where we use in a real time you know um, for example if is a cold storage products or hot storage products or uh, uh, some even that kind of situation also you can always because if you have any refrigerated products you know cold storage products so we can say okay this product should go the only designated area designated bin location only so that way uh, you can always um, use for fixed bin put away strategies okay but as i said in a real time you know um, we used fixed bin strategy uh, just i'm 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 giving some uh, uh, rack system and so this one assuming this one this this area uh, maybe we have handling units okay it's a single uh, each bin has only one handling unit and uh, then what i do is this this location i i make as a fixed bin locations okay fixed bin location this one this one this one fixed bin locations so what we can do is you can always create a replenishment task replenishment task uh, uh, move the stock from here to here this location maybe don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video be from here to here always okay even within a location but other way around we can make a pick phase separate and reserve area separate then you can you can move the product from reserve location to the this one even other way around as i said this this all the bottom bins you know i can uh, as i said majority is a seven levels we have real time seven or eight maximum so so all the bottom bins then i can use them as a fixed bins so i can use for replenishments okay that is also possible and another concept says the cold storage are like you know where hot store hot storage depends on the environmental conditions also so only the designated uh, designated um, product should go to the uh, designated bins because we set this one this bin for this product it should go to only this bin so that the system will always propose the product goes from only this the respective location only this is fixed bin and uh, this is the general storage put away strategy so general put away storage put away this is the where we use it uh, uh, any general storage you know uh, the product even if they um, even goods receiving area i can i can set as a general storage put away strategy okay when you receive it it should uh, um, it is lying on the um, in the floor am i right so this is a general storage put away strategy so no matter it is uh, you can keep any products you can keep you can put x product and y product system allows that okay general put away strategies is a lot like a specific like you know this x should go this is a, is a, you can general storage put away and uh, this is a like you know another one addition to existing stock put away strategies whether 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 you are allowing uh the product already uh, something is existing there okay uh, for example this case whether see already a is there whether allowed one more pallet here or not it's a depends on that if you if you set proper addition to existing stack so then system allows you uh, put another handling in it at the same location okay so as i said you know typically uh if you if you do is uh, even um, reserve locations even fixed bins also sometime we may use one handling here and another handling here and another handling also maximum we can this bin allow for three bins maximum okay sometime you may go for uh, three bins like this it depends on that whether this bin allowed uh, three hus or not this is the addition to existing stock we assume that we have already one handling whether allowing another handling is or not it's a depends on uh, the kind of uh, put away strategy you, you set up so system allows whether the addition is a, is allowed or not that is called addition to existing stock put away strategy don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video okay. and uh, this is the most most popular one and in real time you know we use this one because always we say that let's you propose that any empty storage location okay 
because the, as you know that um, right, you cannot say only this product should go to only the uh, designated one. So this is general. So if it is any MT system proposes automatically uh, the product or handling unit should go to the uh, designated. I mean any any place. If it is a empty storage means as you know that we have wide aisle reserve, wide aisle pick face, mezzanine and ground. This is how you set up a controls so that the designated um, handling unit or product good should go to the respect to storage type okay is not like a respect to storage bin i'm talking about respect storage type okay if you set for the uh, mezzanine ground then product will go to if you see mezzanine ground if you have a thousand ten thousand bins system proposes whichever empty bin how the system proposes as i said like there is a bin sorting system proposes uh, systematically by sequential way one by one, whichever um, MT1 it proposes one by one. Okay, this is the most popular uh, empty storage bin approach we use for uh, all the warehouses. Okay, and uh, empty storage bin put away strategy. So, system C, if it's empty only, the AA products will go here. Okay, so it won't allow here and it won't allow any location, only empty location. It can go here, it can go here, it can go here. But 